Hello, in this video I will show you how to combine the tremendous color capabilities of 3D LUT Creator and the convenience of working with RAW files in Capture One. In other words, I will teach you how to create your own ICC profiles based on LUTs. I have this family shoot. Firstly, let's look at how to correctly export an image from Capture One to 3D LUT Creator so that your grade from 3D LUT Creator will be applied without changes. I'm going to leave the image profile which loads by default. In my case, it is a profile from Fujifilm X-T2. There is a drop-down list with curves under the profile. In fact, these are not curves at all, because you can never create black and white photo using just curves. It loads something much more complicated than just curves. This is more like emulating camera profiles. So, in this list, you need to select Linear Response. I get such a flat image with gray shadows and dim highlights. Of course, you can load it into 3D LUT Creator and twist the color and light there. But I recommend adjusting the brightness in Capture One, because RAW editors work very well with the dynamic range. This is the first reason. Secondly, keep in mind that you are processing a series of shots so the contrast and exposure that are embedded in your profile may not work with other photographs. For example, in this case, I have a non-contrast picture, and if I increase contrast in 3D LUT Creator and write it into a profile, then this profile will not fit the contrast photos from my shoot. Yes, you can fix the high profile's contrast using exposure and contrast in Capture One itself, but you are most likely to lose details in highlights or shadows. Therefore, I will set exposure and contrast in Capture One before sending the file to 3D LUT Creator. So, I have selected the Fujifilm X-T2 generic profile and linear curve. Now, everything is ready for sending photos to 3D LUT Creator. I choose Export. Variants. Please note that you should export TIFF, 16 bits in Adobe RGB color space. Let's export it and load to 3D LUT Creator. Here's the image in Capture One. Now I can close it. Here is the image in 3D LUT Creator. I will load my preset here to save time. I will go over the tabs and tell you what I did here. In the channel mixer, I made the greens colder. Then I increased saturation with the help of special curves. I raised the contrast of greenery using volume tool. I made green in the shadows even darker. Then it became clear that in the shadows, greenery turned out to be very cold and saturated, and too warm in the highlights. I fixed it on the AB grid. In the end, I adjusted color and contrast with the help of CMYK2 curves. Let's record all of this to profile. Here's the path to the Capture One User Profiles folder in Windows. All paths for Windows and Mac you can find in the video description. I'm choosing an ICC profile. I will name it Cold Green. I'm selecting the input profile in the dialog window and selecting the profile on the basis of which new profile will be created. This is where the Capture One camera profiles are located. Optionally, you can create Capture One style file. It will need to be moved to the folder with custom styles. I will only create a profile here. Now I am running Capture One. I'm selecting Show All Profiles in the Profiles drop down list. And then I'm choosing my profile. Now I'm going to copy the settings, select all the files, and apply my adjustments to the entire series. In order to fit new profile to all the photos in the series, you need to adjust the exposure and white balance for individual photos. In the first photo, everything is fine. Another one is all right too. Here, I need to adjust the exposure and levels. 
Here, I adjust the black point and make white balance colder. The next photo is similar. I just copy the settings. Here, I'll raise the contrast. I'm going to copy the settings and paste them into similar frames. Here, I will correct the levels. I'll make this shot colder and more contrasting. Here, I will make the white balance warmer and increase the brightness. I'll paste the settings in the last two frames. Here's what happened. Compare with the photo before. Notice that the before image is on the right now. I'll copy the settings so that everything is honest, but I'll replace the profile with the default one. I will choose Astia Film Simulation here. As you may notice, working with the saturation and white balance will not make the similar skin color and greens. That's all. Now you know how to make the color you want in your favorite Capture One editor. Don't forget about likes and subscriptions if you like the lesson. Bye everyone!